soul and all that is within me. I know we're not at church, but God is in the place. And we are so grateful that he allowed us to be here today to give a celebration and to help this young lady celebrate her birthday and her celebration of retirement. We're going to have the entrance of none other, the one and only, Miss Ella Forbes. at 7 a.m. to the late Udella Forrest and Willie James Forrest Sr. She is the fourth of child of 12 children born to her parents. Her nicknames are Shine, May May, and Mommy Forrest. That's what I gave her. Her siblings are Josephine Moore, nicknames Josie, Baby, and we met Her other sibling, Rosie Pearl Young, nicknamed Ro Pearl is what her, her husband would call her, and Aunt Cal. Another brother, Willie James Forrest Jr., nicknamed Soul, June, and Bill. Another brother, George Edward Forrest, nicknamed Brother, Big George, and Uncle G. Another brother, Richard Earl Forrest, nicknamed Shawty, and Uncle Rep. And her baby brother, uh, Stanley LeBarn Forrest, nicknamed Stan and Flip. Her siblings who have gone on to be with the Lord in heaven are my aunt, Bobby Jean Robinson, nicknamed Bob, Gloria D. Forrest, nicknamed Sister, and Raymond Forrest and Ozell Forrest, deceased during infancy. Her children include, where are you looking at home, begotten son? My name is Elliot Leonard Forrest Sr. Hey, Ma. <laughs> However, I hope you were missed if I didn't acknowledge my siblings uh, on my father's side, who are her adopted sons and daughters. There are Marlene Fisher Newsom, Kevin Harris, Hamilton C. Smith IV, and my deceased little brother Marcus Mozilla McLean. Her grandchildren are Elena Monique Forrest, nicknamed Lena Poole and Layla Poole. Second grandchild, Ellie Lenar Ford II, nicknamed EJ, Fat Cat, Curly Top, Biscuit, Super 8, a lot of nicknames. Third grandchild, Ian Nicholas Ford, nicknamed Chum, Light Bright, Booba, and Evening. She actually even has, God has blessed her to have great grandchildren. Jace Dwayne White, sitting at the table here, nicknamed 50 Grand, because he's my first grandchild. I'm blessed. And then my second granddaughter, her great granddaughter, Reagan Marie Michael, nicknamed Ray Reed. Ella Forrest graduated from Tate County High School in 1968. Keep in mind, this was right before integration. Additionally, as an interesting sidebar, my mother and her siblings were sharecropper as children. They did. They did this under my grandfather's, until my grandfather saved enough money to buy a new house and thereafter he immediately stopped the whole family from participating in the sharecropping industry. Some of, some of you may wonder why the sidebar is even significant. The answer is the business of sharecropping 
the business of sharecropping would take my mom and her siblings out of school for weeks at a time. I presume most of, most of you have, the, have seen the movie 12 Years a Slave. Well, the work of cotton picking by the pound as seen in the movie was similar to the work they did. The difference is they were not slaves, but they could definitely be called field hands at the time. And we also know that the 1960s in our country, especially in the state of Mississippi, was a, a very race, racist time and place. Anytime I, anyway, I thank God for giving my grandfather the foresight to pull them out of that. Getting back on track now. She holds an associate's degree in education from Northwest Community College and a bachelor's degree in elementary education from Russ College. Her employment and career is as follows. She worked as a seamstress for the William Carter's company for 30 years. And after that company closed in its Senatobia plant, they offered the employees of that plant opportunities to go back to college. This is when she, this is when and how my mother ended up going back to, to eventually obtain two degrees. After tra transforming from factory plant employment, Ella began, became a Mississippi State certified teacher for Walls Head Start Center. Ella taught many children at the Walls Head Start Center for 19 years, and she finally retired in May of 2015, so she's actually retired and we're celebrating today. Nevertheless, if, if you spend any time around her, you'll realize quickly she is still teaching us all about life and how to live. So tonight, we gather for this long overdue and well-deserved occasion to honor and celebrate Miss Ella May Forrest's 67th birthday, which was literally yesterday, and her retirement as a teacher for the Walls Head Start Center. So at this time, I want to call up my youngest son, Ian Nicholas Forrest. Come son, come ahead. Jace Dwayne White, my grandson. Come on up. This is their first time knowing about this stuff. Macario and Molly Flowers. Y'all give them a hand as they walk up. And Amy Hillary. To wish her a happy birthday and lead us in singing the happy birthday song. Aiden, Gilliard, Miley, there they go. Y'all give them another hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Ian, say happy birthday, Grandma. Jace, say happy birthday, great grandma. Happy birthday, great grandma. Lucario, say happy birthday, great aunt. Happy birthday, great aunt. Molly, say happy birthday, great aunt. Happy birthday, happy birthday, aunt. Hey, say happy birthday, great great aunt. Happy birthday, great great aunt. Okay, so on the count of three, y'all, the whole room is going to sing happy birthday. They're going to lead us off. Come on, get, come together, guys. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
God, we pray now that you would bless the food tonight that has been prepared for the nourishment of our bodies. Take away any impurities if there be any. Bless the one that prepared it. Do it in Jesus' name. We'll be careful to give you honor, glory.